Hey Pokemon fans, this is part two to an amazing weekend I had. If I get both these videos up this weekend, that will be awesome, because uh, it's been a little inconsistent with my upload schedule. Um, but that first uh, video from uh, that got uploaded probably a couple hours ago or whenever I get this out was just 14 Pokemon booster packs. This video is showing all the Unified Minds booster packs and cards I got this weekend. These three boxes back here have been opened up, so we'll go through those. Uh, but we have four unopened Unified Minds Pokemon booster packs. So let's go ahead and get started. For this extra video, we also have one more sun and moon pokemon booster pack so you know what we'll start with the uh base set sun and moon booster pack get that one out of the way and then we'll go through all the cards i i got this weekend i only played in two pre-release tournaments but i was able to snag three pre-release kits so i'm really happy with that um interesting kind of mixes and pulls all around from what i've heard from what i saw and from what i heard from other people as far as pull rates and all that stuff goes like i said i've said this in other videos um everything from these is completely random and stuff so you never really know what you're gonna get but pre-release events are such a fun way to break into the new set kind of get a, a first taste of some of the cards that are going to be out there uh start kind of reading up on how you think that things are going to affect the meta and stuff of course we've already had the full list of all these cards from this set from various websites but it's really fun to get your first hand and actually play with some of these cards so let's go ahead and see what we got in this sun and pokemon booster pack we have a lightning energy a uh, corsola an energy retrieval a uh, stinine a poliwag a sandy yes an eevee that's pretty cool a crab brawler a marini we have an experience share, and our last card is a Crab on on a bull, I think so. There's a lot of cards um, that I still don't really know how to pronounce. We have four unopened Pokemon booster packs, uh, Unified Minds booster packs. Let's go ahead and get started. So, like I said, I've seen a lot of people open these from the two pre-releases I went to. Now, let's just talk about pre-releases for a second. So. In case if you're new to the Pokemon trading card game, uh, every year we get four new sets, give or take four new sets um, in any given year that come out at about every three to four months. And they're basically new cards that will come out and try to uh, shake things up in the meta. Um, and then two to three weeks before the cards officially hit stores, like at your trading cards, uh, trading card store, Target, Walmart, wherever you buy your cards at, um, you get a chance to play with these cards before they really come out, which is really fun. Typically pre-release events, these boxes are playing them and cost anywhere $25 to $30 and uh, you get more packs guaranteed just for playing anyways and you can keep everything you played here so let's go ahead and see what we got in this first unified minds pokemon booster pack we have a fire energy we have a coach trainer we have a cressella a cherish ball yes that's like my third one i've gotten we got a poi pole we got a snorunt we have a drill burr we have a dwebble we have a pidup a slack off um, Magmortar, and that was the last one card from that Pokemon booster pack, so I do kind of want to keep these organized and kind of see I organize all my cards by set and binders just so I can kind of uh, keep track of everything that I have. I still have to organize some stuff from Unbroken Bonds as well. Um, but let's see what we got in this next one. If we get, uh, ooh, I think we do have something cool in this one. We're going to go ahead and set that code right over there. It did peek out a little bit from there from the back. So this is actually a good question too. So if you pull a Y code, so what is why other YouTubers do this? Whenever you get a Y code, you know uh, the last card you get from the pack. So if I do four from the back, put this at the front like this, I know the card at the front is going to be energy. And I know in this pack, it's going to be a hollow, rare, or higher. So let's go ahead and see what we have in this one. We kick things off with a fairy energy. Uh, trainer card we got a stadium now this is actually a pretty cool card i want to bring in the focus just a little bit so for the cool moment uh not, not good enough for me there we go a stadium nav we have a good a good bat right there another cherish ball that is awesome that's got to be my fourth one that pikachu is freaking adorable i have to say uh next we have a hoot hoot we have a scraggy we have a new mole we have a tanamo we have a Noctowl, and our secret rare for this is a weakness card energy. That is cool. These energy cards, like anything that has an energy card, that I have honestly, right now, I have no idea how much this card is worth or if it's sought after. Um, but if I do know what about this card, this Pokemon has no weakness. This is a pretty cool card, really great card. That is fantastic. I definitely want to put that in a sleeve right away. That will be really cool to share with my friends in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve that up. So it's nice and secured. I'm going to set that out to the side. Oh, actually, let's set it right right there, right there in the background. Cool. Awesome. That was probably the best pull. I'm glad I waited to open these. That was probably the best pull I've gotten from the weekend. So let's go ahead. We got another Y code. Finally hitting some luck. Like I said, for my three actual pre-release kits, I didn't really strike gold or anything with any of them, but I did do pretty good out of the six pre-release matches I got to play, and I won four of those matches. So like I said, pre-release events are always random. Uh, that was another Y code. Let's see what we got in this one. I think I saw a dark energy right there. Next, we have an Azelf. We have a Lumineon. We have a Dedenning. We have a Hone Hedge. We have a Sneasel. We have a Magnemite. We have a Slake Off. We have an Axiou, a Reverse Hall Fletching, and we pull 
Espeon and Deoxy GX. That is fantastic. Two great cards. So <laughs> this kind of makes up for the luck I did have this week, and this is actually pretty awesome. Uh, great way to end and my pre-release weekend. I typically will play in two to three pre-release tournaments. I think I'll play in one more this week, but let's go ahead, open up our last Unified Mind Pokemon booster pack, and then that'll be this video. I think we'll kind of go through some of these Unified boxes back here, just kind of see, show the promos and stuff I got. We have the uh, green code right there, So, but there still could be a cool reverse hollow. I would take any kind of trainer card as well. Let's go ahead and see what we have here. We have a Water Energy. We have a Lumineon. We have a Gabite. We have a Taurus. We have a Fletching, we have an Onyx, we have a Fletchinder, we have a Snover, a Murkrow, Reverse Hollow Cragonel, and our last one is, ugh, excuse me, an Ah Moon Gus. I think that's how you pronounce that one. The mush, mushroom Pokeball one, kind of, kind of interesting design. Like, do do, uh, do the mushrooms just kind of like take the shape of the Pokeball? Which one came first, the Pokeball or the mushroom? Um, but that's pretty cool. These two cards right here, definitely the best pulls I got from the weekend. I do have two more cards I want to show that I got specifically from these three. So I'm going to pause the camera just for a second and get those out as well. Okay, so for this next part, we're going to go through these three Unify Mind Prelude skits that I was able to get this weekend. Um, and then we're going to go through a couple of the other cards. I don't think this was, the, uh, this was the deck that I assembled. I don't know where the extra... Oh, I know where those are. So this was the one I got today. This was the deck that I assembled with what I had. I Today I only won one of my two matches I got to play in, but you kind of get to see a little bit. Um, they really come with some great stuff in them. So all these cards came in one of these boxes. I think the other extra ones I had, uh, yeah, that's right. I put the extra ones in here. So I try not to get them mixed up when I'm at the pre-release tournaments, but these are all the cards that I got, some QR codes and stuff. I will, I do like, um, I don't know how I'm gonna be distributing codes again at some point, um, but when I do first at least get the, uh, all my pre-release codes, I actually do use them because I do need to get some of the, the cards and stuff for the online game. Um, this is one pre-release box. This is uh, extra energy and stuff. So this is how a pre-release tournament works. So you're given one of these boxes and in a 30 minute time period with the cards that are in this box, they come with four booster packs and kind of like uh, a predetermined set of set of cards that have have like supported cards and other good cards that'll help you kind of assemble a 40 card deck and then you play three matches with them or at least that's how many uh matches i've played in typically in my area um but yeah it's really cool so all these cards i got just for playing in the event and i got to keep all of them and then i got two more so how i ended up getting three even though i only played in two tournaments uh i had a friend actually come out she came out and wanted to play uh, just kind of learn how to play the game a little bit this weekend and she agreed uh, she said she would play in the tournament and then she also gave me her extra box of, car of cards and stuff which she told i paid for her entry fee so don't worry about that but it was really cool and thoughtful that she wanted to like uh give me the stuff she uh the stuff she got to play with this weekend and it's exactly that kind of event that's perfect even if you've never played pokemon before a pre-release event is actually kind of the perfect one of the first perfect events to go to because you can catch on to things pretty quickly it's super laid back uh this is pre-release kit number two i don't know remember what the promo card is i want to find actually yeah that'd be fun uh fun to show so i know that one as i just drop uh as i just drop my stuff on the ground let's go ahead and see i don't know i don't know where that one went um so all of them come with a pretty nifty, cool looking promo card. I'm trying to find where this one was. There we go. So each of these will have one of four uh, predetermined promo cards. That's where I think I put the other one in my binder already somewhere else. This is the last, last pre-release kit from uh, this weekend. Um, yeah, I don't know where the other dude went. I know I had him somewhere. Like I said, when you have this many cards, it's actually just always kind of an active quest to really just kind of organize things and not lose them. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how I, I do a pretty good job of keeping track of all the cards I get because I really do appreciate every card that I have a chance to buy and all that. Let's see what we got here. Um, let's go ahead. The next pre-release kit is right right here yep that's right so this was the one this was the pre-release kit that my friend got to play with at first i was like i don't recognize these cards i'm like that's right because i didn't i didn't i helped her construct this deck but this is the other pre-release kit that i was able to get and right now there are just cards and stuff all over the place that's right ultra necro uh not uh not ultra necrozma just the regular necrozma so that was another one right there except that guy right down there and i think i also got necrozma too for my last one but that was the third pre-release box my desk is a complete mess right now anyways but just kind of recap everything the four coolest cards we definitely got on camera where uh, uh it was really cool to open up that weakness guard there we also pulled the espion gx and the other two cards i got this weekend were the alolan raichu g uh raichu alolan raichu and raichu tag team gx 
and the Umbreon and Darkrai GX. So easily the four best cards I got from this weekend's event. Well, trainers, I hope you're having a great day. If you've been playing in any pre-release tournaments, I want to know how they've been going down in the comments below. This was kind of a cool way to close out the weekend. I really hadn't hit any like crazy good pulls or anything till right now. So I'm really glad I waited to open up those last few booster packs on camera. I decided I needed to put that little bit of YouTuber luck in me. Whenever I've opened up Pokemon booster packs in front of a camera, for some reason, I always have just that much better luck. Vel trainers, I hope your pre-releases and Pokemon stuff are going really, really well. I want to be uploading videos hopefully every Wednesday and Friday sometime in the near, near future. I hope you're having a great day whenever, whenever you're watching this. There was a part one booster pack opening or another one that was also uploaded on the channel. I'm just going to get both these up at this uh, at the, sometime in the next 24 hours, and I will see you next time.